a little toy girl made me give me this years ago. Uh, the old scales, leather spuds for her, just me and the wife's Sunday dinner tomorrow. And I've got a uh, one uh, one pound twelve ounces on at the moment. Another half ounce on, and it's just perfect. So one pound twelve and a half ounces. <laughs> nice little uh, snowball turnips there. Eight and a half ounces, as you can see. Put the half on. Just takes it down. Eight and a half ounces. So that'll be there for our dinner tomorrow as well. The office today. I'm going to empty this compost heap into this one here because I prefer this one, it's this bin for when I put my grass cuttings in and my, uh, my, all my other little bits and pieces of veg in it's easier for me rather than walk into the pan I can just throw it over the top and get in so it, this is getting emptied right out I'm going into this one here so I'm going to leave that like I did last year and use it in the spring I'm getting down to some good stuff now in this uh, bin here uh, this one's filling up nicely, uh, just spread it out a bit and carry on a bit further. If I can't get it all in, the bottom of this will be, it'll be good good enough to go straight onto some of the beds now, to be honest with you. So I'll get this emptied, maybe not today, but uh, I'll carry on so far I can get. There's some of my garlic and my onions hung up. They're the poor ones I've left on the plot, it just makes it a little bit more attractive. I've got plenty of them at home now, uh, hanging up, all plaited together. Daily is looking well. Please with that. Beautiful there. It's on them, aren't they? Everything's going well. Cabbages are starting to fill out now. Which uh, we had that heavy rain last week. And they weren't looking too good before then. Because you keep watching, but they're filling out now. They're still small compared to uh, to someone here but uh, they're getting there and they will do eventually uh, started me my greenhouse space so my greenhouse space is in place now uh, just got to put a wooden surround on it which I will do which will hold me a uh, greenhouse down because I'll stick that to the ground so that's all ready for that I've just got to get the wood now well, that's beautiful isn't it Bloody old eye, that's absolutely lovely that. Roses are nice. Pom pom air, uh, dahlias are coming up well in there as well. The wildlife area is growing over quite nicely. Now just a little bit of the apples on this fiesta tree. God, there's tons of them, absolutely ton. I suppose I should really thin them out because the weight of them on the uh, branches will, will only kill them over eventually, won't it? But we'll see. Turning around slowly and looking up the plot. I really like this as well. And you know what, I don't know what it is, but you seem to have a mental... A oh, hydrangea. That's me hydrangea. I don't know what it is, but as you get old, you start having mental blocks. You know what things are, and all of a sudden you just can't think of the name of them. It's a cabbage-like butterfly there, I think, going across. Hope he stays out of there. Beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so I just thought to give you a little bit of a show round. Right, so that one is three quarters empty now, this compost, which is now in a second bin here, which is full to the top. So what I'm going to do now, uh, maybe over the week, I shall barrow that round the allotments and put it on some of my beds. So I have that bin totally empty so I can start refilling. And again, it won't be full now until the end of the year and it'll rot down in the winter and I'll be able to add a few more a few more well more bits uh, the early part of next year when I start we start mowing again and uh, getting the bits and bits out the garden I don't put too, I put some weeds in but not not uh, some of the uh, the real bad ones I leave them out so take them to the tip so there that bin's full 
That one's uh, three quarters empty, so I'll be able to use that soon when I get it totally empty. Something else we've done today, paint inside my shed door. So, please that now, it'll all match inside. Lovely. I'm filming this on another little walk that I went on. Yeah, I don't want the other week I showed a video of it. This is just off the shore by the sandals. Uh, so the right of me is the, uh, is the golf course. And I just want to show you uh, when I get to the opening where I used to have my allotment. And you'll understand why I moved from where here to where I am now. All to do with cost. Not only cost, but also the fact that the one I've got now is a full plot, and you wouldn't even call the one I had for forty pound on the private uh, allotment. You wouldn't even call that half a plot. It was even less than that. It was about uh, twenty foot by thirty foot the whole plot, where the one I've got now is eighty five foot by thirty foot wide. So there's a massive difference. Got a lot more growing area. Anyway, we'll be coming up to the opening in a minute and I'll show you. Alright, just over there where you can see that big shed. Just this side of it is a load of allotments, so just between the hedges. Now they're private allotments on Lisa Road. And they were £40 a month. That's before I moved to my uh, plot about four or five years ago now in Upton Salic Lane, uh, where it's council owned. And that's, that, at that time, was £40 a year. And if you were over 60, it was half the price, which is 20, which I was at the time. So that meant I was only paying £20 a week instead of £40 a month, which is £880 a year, isn't it? So, as you can see, it was a no brick And while we're talking, I might as well also tell you, I'm so pleased with uh, how my diet's going. These little walks we've been doing, it's about three miles, I know they're not uh, a lot, but I, I enjoy them. Three to four miles, I think they are. Uh, I've lost a pound under stone, so I've lost, uh, what's that, 13 pounds I've lost over the last four nights, so nearly a stone. I'm not going to go mad, I'm only going to maximum another stone, maximum, uh, that'll take me down to about 12 4. I don't know if I'll get there, but I'm gonna try anyway because I must admit I do feel a lot uh, fitter uh, for me uh, doing these little walks. There's one big bird, isn't he? Hey, he doesn't seem to be afraid. He must probably will as a passing, but no, well, he's not moved at all. And I've got the two dogs with me. <laughs> Well, we're on our little walk this morning through the sandals, walking back towards the beach. I'd just like to uh, talk about uh, Sean James Cameron, who's got his own channel, Grow Your Own UK. And uh, he had his channel shut down by uh, YouTube last week. And uh, he's, he's had it reinstated now, thank goodness, because I'd have been. I would have been uh, good and mad about it because, to be honest with you, it's one of the channels I've been following. I've been following uh, his, uh, it must be nearly nearly 10 years now. Plus, it used, I, I used to follow Rick Van Man when he used to do his, uh, his allotment uh, uh, videos. Not so much nowadays because he, he does different things, but he's still so interesting to watch. But going back to Sean, uh, it had me thinking. now. I think Sean's got about 900 videos uh, on YouTube and he was at risk of losing every single one of them. Of course, that's where you keep your records, isn't it? And that's one of the main reasons why I do YouTube. Not so much, as you can tell by the quality of my videos compared to his and the content in them. Uh, not because uh, I'm good at it, I only do it mostly for my own uh, personal use which I, I do t I do share them with people obviously but 
uh, as I say, the reason I do it is to keep a record of what I grew, how it's done, where I grew it the, the following year, and I can always look back and see how I've improved and the different things I've used to make them crops better. Uh, so it's a bit slightly different from Sean. Sean does do it to educate us, which I find uh, it is very educating what he does. Uh, but when he had this trouble, it, ha it had me thinking, what am I going to do if, if I lose all mine? Not as important as his because he uses his. That's his main source of income, YouTube. And because he's got such a lot of subscribers and a lot of people like him, uh, he lost some income. Whereas me, mine's more for my own uh, my, my my own benefits, as I've said. So, well, one thing I'm going to do over the next uh, week or two is, is download all the videos that I've got. Oh, one of you. What's this here? That butterfly isn't that colourful. Wow. It's gone though. Right. So, I, I don't know. I've already got uh, iCloud and I've got two terabytes of uh, storage on that, which cost me, I think it's $6.99 a month. So, I'm going to make use of that. And uh, I think I'll download all mine down to uh, to, to me uh, to, to me cloud uh, and store them that way. And it's not going to cost me any more money uh, buying more hard drives. Let's have said that I've got another hard drive, but I use mostly just uh, I use my iPad and my iPhone and my big computer now. So uh, I'll see if I can download them back to my iPad. But if I can't, I can always. Uh, I've got one of them small mini, mini, I forget what they're called now, they're, they're an Apple Mac mini, you know, the little small ones. I've got one of them, so I'll be able to use that to download them back, I would imagine. Uh, and then just let them go on the cloud, because at the moment I've got most of them on uh, YouTube and also uh, iMovie. So I think that's a path I'm going to take. But anyway, that's the talking. And uh, I'm just so pleased uh, for, for Sean that uh, everything's been sorted. Incidentally, we're just heading towards New Brighton here now, which is, which is not far away at all. It's, it's just there. Uh, but I'll sign off now, and uh, I'll put a little bit on what I've done on the allotment this afternoon.